all of you to, to this uh, IYS Youth Festival for Girls. It's a monthly program, Chetna Festival. And actually today is dream come true because what is the result of the lecture is devotional service. You people are already engaged in devotional service. Lecture is not needed. <laughs> today is only formality actually this lecture. So actually this will be very special because anyway you are doing service in this very very special month of Karti and our program is also every year we are not having this uh, festival uh, in uh, month of uh, Kartik because every time we have a uh, Yatra, this time Yatra is not there. So somehow we have come together in month of Kartik and we all are doing devotional service. You by making this wonderful garland preparations for Vara Deities and I am doing my service by speaking here. <laughs> so let's uh, all of us try to analyze this very very curious point this is a uh, topic it's a very very curious topic isn't it dreams yeah everybody likes to know what happens and what are the consequences why it happens and everything so my basic question is that do you all dream yes. everyone dreams yes. yeah <laughs> so ओके जिनको हिंदी में सुनना है वो प्रभुपाद के पास पीछे ट्रांसलेशन में वहाँ ट्रांसलेट हो रहा है हिंदी में वहाँ जाके सुन सकते हैं आपका सेवा भी उधर साथ में लेके जा सकते हैं वहाँ बैठके सेवा भी कर सकते हैं और सुन भी सकते हैं ठीक है सो तो एवरीबॉडी ड्रीम्स सो दिस स्मॉल स्टोरीज है देर वाज अ बॉय हु वेंट इन दॉर्न and uh, then he was relaxing after finishing his jogging, sitting on the seat and suddenly from far he saw one girl coming, jogging. And as she was coming closer, he saw that this is the, uh, it uh, appears to be girl from his college only. And as she came close, he realized she is from his class only. And uh, then more close she came, then he realized she is the same girl he wants to give uh, red rose on Valentine day every year but he never he's never able to do because he's very shy boy you know and suddenly something happened some stone came and that girl fell on him when she came near him and almost on his lap you know and then both are looking at each other and he is about to speak abhi bolu ke nahi bolu isko bolu ke nahi bolu and then he hears a voice banti uth ja tera college jane ka time ho gaya so well, this is the dream, you know, like in dream we do so many things, whatever we want to do day, day time, sometimes people do daydreaming also, same in the day also they see dreams, right? So it's very, very uh, integral part of our life. Sometimes they are very short uh, duration, sometimes it appears very long, sometimes after it's over we don't remember, sometimes we remember for some time and after some years we forget it, you know, like that. So, every human being on this earth planet dreams, correct? There is a population of the earth planet today is how much? Any, any guess? Any guess? It is 7.5 billion human beings. I am spe speaking human beings, huh? not... Uh, then it becomes innumerable. There is no count. Our scientists don't have eyes to see some of the microbes and um, bacteria and viruses. They, 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 that they cannot count at all. So, uh, human being population on this earth planet is 7.5 billion and each and one, each and every dreams, whether he is a rich or poor or educated, illiterate, the African, American, European, uh, Australian, Chinese, Japanese, Pakistani or Indian, everybody has to dream. Huh? So, and dreams are very, very lot of varieties there, isn't it, in the dream. Sometimes it is very surprising thing, sometimes it's very pleasing, sometimes it's horrifying, it's a nightmare. And sometimes uh, it's very entertaining also. Huh? You become as if you are seeing a movie in the dream, like that. So, uh, and on this dreams topic, people do so much advertisement also. In Bollywood, many, many masala is made out of dream, you know. They want to make up story and they put dream in between. And afterwards you realize that this was a dream. So, and I, I see this um, advertise of a mattress also. Huh? Sleep on this mattress, then you'll get a good dream. Huh? So, everybody wants to see good dream. Anybody wants to say, uh, see bad dream? Anybody tells you in the night, good night, 
wish you bad dream huh no everybody uh, tells you what everybody wishes sweet dreams huh good night when we last call of the day with the friends last last conversation with the friend in the night sweet dreams good night huh so like that so this dream is a very very uh, curious topic and many many people have uh, uh, studied this lot of research has happened over centuries and recently uh, one small study was there they did candle study and two kind of people they studied on so one was a sportsman and another was a uh, very very shy clerk working in the office so they both were made to sleep and uh, both eyes were covered with a black ribbon and when during their sleep uh, one candle was lit and it was taken in front of their eyes and after they became awake then they were asked for the experience did you see anything or did you realize or feel anything what's your impression so the sportsman said that uh, i saw one white bat and along with uh, that uh, one gold color ball was coming huh? and i was about to play and you woke me up and another person uh, the clerk said that uh, Uh, he was very very shy and a very very timid person always scared of people so he said his enemy he, i felt my enemy is coming he is uh, holding a very uh, big uh, white rod and he is coming uh, and getting me out of darkness and coming to light and about to hit me and he woke me up hmm? so these two people uh, two different people have different different experience and why because it said that uh, in dream what happens is that all your unfulfilled desires all your impressions in the mind they what is the status of the mind it reflects in our dream and uh, there is another very very famous uh, psychologist psychiatrist sigmund freud anybody heard his name sigmund freud yeah anybody who has studied psychiatry or psychology everybody uh, studies about this person this person was born in austria and uh, then later on he uh, shifted to vienna he did psychoanalysis and uh, later on uh, during first world war he shifted to uk and then uh, there in the starting of the 20th century he left his body so during his uh, career he did lot of work on psychoanalysis psychoanalysis he put up lot of theories he put up uh, lot of uh, hypothesis uh, to explain how the psych works and about dreams his opinion and his conclusion was that that uh, it is link between your desires and uh, your dreams are actually reflection of your desires whatever your unfulfilled desires are there hmm? your suppressed desires are there you are not uh, sometimes suppressing some you are suppressing some desire every desire you don't tell right and every desire you don't uh, express in front of people so those desires they come in your dreams so i just wanted to so how it is uh, this desires how your desires are developing in your mind it is what kind of environment you are in accordingly that you will develop that kind of desires isn't it so i just wanted to show you a very very small video it uh, shows how people just by uh, looking at things around how people develop different different desires so this is a video audio is there i hope audio works so this person sitting in the car he feels that i wish i could buy this helicopter okay now he is going ahead then that car was a race car very very costly car and this fellow has a very simple car so he said i wish i could afford this car then behind him is a cycle wala he feels i wish i had this car how is looking at him just see he is so sad and this person he doesn't have money to buy cycle also so guy he is thinking i wish i could buy this bicycle
and look at this person he cannot even walk okay he is feeling that i wish i had legs i wish my legs were fine then i could walk okay so we don't realize many times that what we have got we are always concentrating always uh, looking at things which are uh, with others and we don't pay attention to what we have so uh, our suppressed and then we have desires all desires don't get fulfilled there is not a single person on this earth planet his all desires get fulfilled right so uh, another uh, scientist he studied that is it only this desire and dreams they have a relations of relationship or uh, is there anything else higher than that hmm? so he is saying that uh, it is not only just desires he is saying there is some connection between our individual consciousness and the cosmic consciousness hmm? whenever we are dreaming there is some connection that's why uh, it will happen otherwise if it is only depending on desire then many other things will not work hmm? if it is dependent on desire then many times of course desires work because uh, if i am reading every day page 3 then i will dream of the branded shoes and branded clothes and designer clothes huh? going to party right if i am a studious uh, college girl then i will dream of ki about exams when how i am going to appear in the exam hmm? i myself when i was studying medicine once i uh, suddenly in the morning i had a nap in the uh, while traveling in the train and i dreamt oh i missed my exam today and i was actually going to the exam but i had so much fear that i dreamt that i missed my exam you know like that so so many things happen myself right now i now i am a working professional so i have to do many other work and then go to my office or uh, my work at hospital so many times i don't get up in my mind i start doing all my work suddenly in the morning i start taking bath i start cooking in the morning ha huh? and sometimes i give anesthesia also in my dream because by that time my mind is already already working is just that physically i am not awake ha huh? so this desires and your what is your surrounding it has lot of effect but how this para consciousness is uh, affecting our individual consciousness so there are many examples huh? and uh, there was uh, there is one very very uh, very very i found this uh, story very very interesting this is a image of a red rock uh, gold mines which are in colorado america so and the person who is there is winfield staten he is the owner of this uh, estate and uh, he tells his memories so what he says is that uh, he was a pauper actually he was bankrupt he didn't have any money he used to go here there in hope of some hope that something will work out with me and uh, one day on uh, 8th july 8th july 1811 it was in 19th century he slept on uh, in the ground in colorado and uh, he went to sleep under the sky and he saw the dream in dream one angel appeared an angel told him that go to this mountain of betel and there is a fortune for you there you just dig there and there is lot of gold that will turn around your uh, life and it will change your life forever so he morning he awoke and he remembered his dream but he did not have a, even have money to go to this place and uh, do this venture so he met his friends and he told about his dream and uh, friends simply ridiculing ridiculed him okay what is this कुछ भी कुछ भी सपना दिखता है यू नो लाइक दैट एंड इज यू आर सो डेस्परेट योर माइंड इज सो डेस्परेट एंड दिस इज डिलीजन विच इज क्रिएटेड आउट ऑफ माइंड बट दिस डिड नॉट पुट इम ऑफ ही वॉज स्टिल वेरी एंथुसियास्टिक एंड वन डे ही ट्रेवल टू दिस माउंट ऑफ बेटिल एंड ही हिमसेल्फ स्टार्टेड डिगिंग एंड टू हिज सरप्राइज एंड सरप्राइज एंड ब्लिस टूगेदर ही सॉ वन गोल्ड स्टोन इन द ग्राउंड Because he went exactly at that place, 
what the, that angel had taken him in the dream and he remembered what is that place he found that place and uh, he digged there and he got this gold and then he came back and somehow gathered borrowed some money he bought this land hmm? he bought this uh, estate bought this mountain in fact huh? and then his life was changed forever he was a billionaire hmm? so and then what he felt because he was a very pious man so he felt this this is a reward almighty has given me uh, for uh, all my past deeds in my past life the some pious activities i must have done so he has rewarded me like this he was very pious and then what he did as a gratitude this place where he was sleeping and uh, he saw the dream he made a one church over there he constructed one church and whatever money he got he did lot of charity for poor for children hmm, for helpless people so this was it so it is said that when we are sincere and pure in our heart then if we maintain serenity in our heart then many things are revealed in a dream in our subconscious state which are not revealed to us in our conscious state hmm? and there are many many spiritual things also happened this uh, everybody knows this we have a same uh, symbolic gopal ji dt in our temple also so this is famous dt of sinath ji isn't it ha huh? nath dwara is a very very famous destination for all pious gujaratis there are some people who visit every month by ritual ha huh? they have to go and take darshan of this nath dwara temple but any uh, any one of you know that what is uh, uh, how this temple came about and how this dt came about the it arises from dream of one saint hmm? so this madhvendra puri almost 600 years he was travelling and he reached vindavan he and he went to govardhan mountain and he was sleeping there he was taking rest and one uh, cowherd boy very beautiful boy he came to him and uh, he told him baba get up and uh, then madhendra puri got up and he seeing this very very beautiful beautiful uh, wonder, uh, wonderful cowherd boy so he saying you are hungry na baba take this milk and your hunger will be satisfied so madhendra puri said that how do you know i am hungry how do you know i have not eaten for many days so uh, this boy said this is my area and in my area nobody goes hungry so you drink this milk so madhendra puri drank that milk and he had never tasted milk like that in his life ever before and it was a nectar so after he drank the milk then this boy said okay baba now you can go to sleep so again madhendra puri did some bhajan and again in the night he went to sleep and then he saw this dream and his dream this gopal ji dt came and gopal ji dt said that nearby there are bushes and i am buried under the bushes please take me out okay so in the morning when madhvendra puri got up he gathered the villagers which who was staying around and then he said let's go and see this place because i have got this dream and people respected this great saint so uh, they went there and he started clearing the bushes and there they found this dt of sinath ji hmm? so uh, this is a true story it is not somebody's imagination that madhvendra puri knew that and then imagined it actually appeared so when uh, this great saintly personalities have a connection they are pure in their mind pure in their heart then they can actually uh, experience these things and they can connect to the higher powers many times these uh, personalities uh, they are uh, uh, either from past life they are very very uh, born with spiritual mind you know and some people in this life time itself they do lot of discipline lot of self control lot of sense control they did uh, they undergo purification of mind body and then they develop this spirituality and then they can actually actually many things which will not otherwise reveal uh, it reveals to them through the dreams uh, prabhupad was one of the example uh, founder acharya of iskon he used to when he was grahastha he used to repeatedly get this dream that his guru shila bhakti siddhanta saraswati thakur he used to again and again come in his dream and say you go and take sanyas 
and preach this uh, Krishna consciousness, preach this knowledge of Srimad Bhagavatam in English language. He used to get this dream repeatedly hmm? because Prabhupada was very, very pure, pure devotee. He was pure devotee, pure hearted and pure minded person. So, and that, and because of repeated dreams, he continued to put his effort, though he had many, many difficulties, lot of reversals uh, in uh, establishing this movement of Krishna consciousness. But ultimately, he was successful and uh, by uh, blessings of his Gurudev and he started this International Krishna Society for Krishna Consciousness. And he translated many, many bo uh, books into English languages, Chaitanya Charita Amrita, Srimad Bhagavatam. He wrote so many books and that's how he... Uh, brought actually revolution in spirituality by establishing this uh, Krishna consciousness movement. Another example uh, is because many times through dreams people have, people's lives, lives have changed. An example is Gautam Buddha. Everybody knows story of Gautam Buddha? He was a prince. He was a prince Siddharth. He was young prince Siddharth and one day he saw many, many poor people very, because from childhood near, never say, seen uh, poor people, people with disease, people with misery. And during sleep, one day he got a dream that uh, he was taken by this voice. There was one voice who took him to the uh, graveyard. And there he showed that, see, this is a dead body and this is your future. Your body is imperishable. This is the nature of your body. So, whatever moments you have got in life, you take full advantage of it. Hmm? So, anybody tells you what you will do, ultimately you are going to die. Take full advantage. In USA, many, many people come to know nowadays, right? People get cancer and many, many diseases and uh, they uh, come to know, I have five months to live, I have six months to live, I have one year to live. So, in USA, when a very, very wealthy person, he was told that now you have six months to leave. So what he did? He actually uh, wanted to enjoy. Hmm? And he, he did his enjoyment in many, many different ways because he had a lot of money. And he wanted to spend all the money. Maybe six months later, what will happen after six months? I will finish it now. You know, like that. So uh, he... He used to, one day he used to go to some uh, very, very affluent place and enjoy every, and then actually he became so famous, there used to be TV shows. Now next week what he is going to do, where he is going to go and enjoy. Every time he used to have a different, if a young girl with him to enjoy, you know. So this is the materialistic and when devotees are told what they do, they completely immerse in their Krishna consciousness. So, uh, it's like, Lok bolta na khao piyo maja karo. This my father-in-law always tells, you know, khao piyo maja karo. Uh, what is there in life? Eating is not there, khao piyo maja karo. Maja karne ka life mein. Huh? So many people have said, life is like an ice cream. It is going to melt. Before it melts, you enjoy it. Uh, you should enjoy it. It is going to ultimately melt. But wise people, what they say? Life is like a candle. What candle does? It gives light to others, right? Candle is also melting, it wax. Correct. Ice cream is also melting, candle is also melting. Candle is melting, it wax, the simultaneously it is going to disappear one day, but in the process it is going to illuminate so many people around. It is going to give light to so many people around. So one is a symbol of very, very selfish enjoyment. And one is symbol of very, very selfless work. APJ Kalam, our uh, late president, late ex-president, he said that if you want to become handsome, then give you, land your hand to someone. Huh? Then you become beautiful. You don't become beautiful by just going to parlor every month, by doing your manicure every month, or by your changing your hairstyles in different, different ways. Huh? Not like that. You do good work and people remember you for a long time. Hmm? So, uh, Gautam Buddha, what he did after he saw, saw the dream, he, this prince, young prince Siddhartha, he went to this uh, famous tree. Now it is in Gaya. He sat under that tree and he meditated. And he attained Nirvana, self-realization. Hmm? 
Hmm? And because it was told to him, your ultimately your life is going to perish. So you bet make best out of uh, of all the moments of life. So he decided to go and do uh, meditation and self-realize himself. So he attained self-realization, and it was under that tree. The tree became very famous, and today also remnants. If you go to Bodh Gaya, that today also that tree's remnant is there. We can uh, see that. So this tree. tree itself is a very symbolic ha huh? he solene sachinandan maharaj he uh, says that it is tree of life so what is tree tree has a root tree has a trunk and tree has a crown right so this is a tree it has a root it has a trunk and it has a crown so root is a unseen part right but if you don't take care of this unseen part then you cannot sustain the seen part which is trunk and which is uh, crown correct hmm? so and what is a trunk tree is compared to spirituality and tree tree is a connection between the crown and the root and it is compared to your physical uh, well being and your emotional well being so unless this uh, trunk is also developing well it is not cultivated then uh ultimately it will not fructify it the tree will not fructify and give uh, the products so uh we have to take care of our physical and emotional well being and if roots are not uh, strong then what will happen trunk will not last long correct if we here we are seeing uh, two trees one has a very root weak roots and one has one has got very strong root correct see if the katrina hurricane comes so which tree will go off first the tree with a very 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 weak weak root it will go off it is going to fly off katrina will come tsunami will come ha huh? so this kind of trees will fly off in america uh, in uh, california there are trees which are uh, according to archaeology they are 5000 year old 6000 year old like that ha huh? and if you see they have such strong roots nothing nothing in 5000 years so many things have happened on this earth planet but nothing could move these trees okay so and uh, especially emotional well, well being with the women and with the girls we, it's very important right because uh, we are expecting crying at next moment really <laughs> correct uh, tears are a weapon of all females it is said ha huh? that is a weapon if daughter is crying and if she says to papa papa i want it then papa cannot refuse she has to buy it get it for her correct and same thing with uh, in the relationship between a husband and wife uh, so this we have to how we can control emotions because sometime emotions are uh, when emotions are disturbed in our life because uh, hurt physically you get hurt you get a fracture you get operated and then uh, you are suffering physically that's fine but if somebody hurts you and more uh, uh, important is somebody close to you hurts you then it hurts like anything isn't it hmm? so in that time your mind totally goes off emotions are disturbed you are totally disturbed because our roots are not strong we have not got spiritual uh, understanding properly that's why so that's why we have to pay attention to these roots which are said and then the third part is crown hmm so what is crown it has got fruits it has flowers it has got leaves and it actually uh, makes the tree look very very beautiful isn't it if trunk only trunk was there would you be attracted to the tree because tree is there it is a different different every different different uh, tree gives different different fruits different different kinds of flowers different colors if you go to european country in america in winter season trees actually change their colors some trees have a totally red color orange color uh, leaves and it looks so beautiful it is very panoramic scenery is too beautiful hmm? so this crown is very very important and because why because uh ultimately it is a product of the uh, nourishment from the root hmm? it is what is that is what is seen and uh, uh, it's very symbolic because it is this crown which gives us uh, coolness which gives gives us shade in the hot summer 
it gives us warm in uh, warmth in uh, winter season it uh, gives us shelter in rainy season isn't it the tree is very symbolic in shrimad bhagavatam in 10th keto krishna he is walking with balram and in vrindavan and then uh, he is telling balram my dear uh, brother just look at these trees they are symbol of tolerance how they are tolerating hmm? and chaitanya mahaprabhu also in his shishtashtakam he has given one analogy with the tree he is saying trinadapi sunichena taro rapi sahishnuna so this character of uh, tolerance which is symbolic it is shown by the tree is very very important for us to develop in as a part of the character so the tree is very very symbolic and we should live like a tree and how uh, so this uh, how we can this sachinandan maharaj said that it is tree of life so how do we connect this how do we connect this teaching to our life so it is said that this uh, roots are connectivity trunk is cultivation and crown is contribution okay roots are connectivity it connects you should be connected if uh, trunk is cultivation and crown is contribution so connectivity connecting is very important connect to what connect to your inner self inner self means what is inner self in mundaka upanishad upanishad it is described that uh, in uh, everyone's heart there are two birds krishna god, god is saying that in everyone's heart there are two birds one super soul and another is super soul the, the one bird is busy enjoying the fruits of the tree and another bird is continuously watching at him when he will look at me when he will look at me huh? so soul we jivatma are we are busy always doing our activities our responsibility enjoying life and god in our heart he is sitting in our heart and he is always waiting when we will turn to him and when we will connect to him hmm? so he is waiting so how to connect to god there are ways and many many ways given explained to us by uh, acharyas written in the scriptures and the most simple way of uh, connection uh, making connection with god is through chanting of holy name chanting of his name hmm? when we chant his name uh, we remember him then we are actually connecting him why because if i say disha 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 she will not if she is sitting at her home she will not appear in front of me okay disha is our cameraman today so if i say disha 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 she is not going to be appearing to me but if i say krishna 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 i chant uh, krishna has got so many names hmm? i said gopal gopal govin govin then krishna actually becomes present in his name hmm? so that is a difference so very and uh, in kali yuga it is said that chant, chanting uh, is has lot of power krishna actually makes uh, av- himself available to us in chanting so when we chant we actually we are connecting with uh, god and to continue to chant we have to develop knowledge isn't it ha huh? can you continue to chant if you don't know what are the effects of the chant chanting what are the benefits of the chanting are you going to chant ha huh? you're not going to chant there are many people outside you have today come to chetna festival some of you may be coming first time some of you are coming uh, repeatedly many many times you have come but unless you hear what is the meaning of this chanting what is the use of the chanting then you will not get convinced and you are not going to chant so to uh, for that you have to develop a knowledge why we have to chant is it only ritual or any meaning is there behind chanting and for that we have to read scriptures the many many scriptures are there shrimad bhagavatam chaitanya charita charitamrita bhagavad gita and we if we are not ready to read then we should go to places where people are speaking about it hmm? and what where is what is the place where people are speaking about the scriptures is temples hmm? so temples are compared to the hospitals where this is soul goes and uh, our treatment is hearing and chanting our soul gets totally replenished by going to temple so this is of the soul goes away by uh, 
repeatedly going to temple and getting the treatment on regular basis. If you go, if a uh, person has got a cancer and uh, not cancer, let, let me be little mild. If he gets a malaria and he say, I will go to doctor only once and then I should be treated. If he is not, if he is not successful, then uh, the doctor is not good. Huh? Is it true? You have to go to the doctor, you have to take the treatment, you have to take the prescription, he will prescribe some medicine uh, to you, you have to take that, then he will say, don't eat this, don't eat that, don't do that, do that, huh? all that you have to do. If you say, I have given it to you, I have given it to you, bacteria is the work of the doctor, my work is not. So you cannot say, we have to follow the prescription, then only our disease will get treated. So similarly, when we go to temple, we have to chant and not only once, not once in a year, it should be on a regular basis. Hearing about Krishna, hearing from the different different scriptures, should be on a regular basis, then you will see the effect. If you just go once and forget about it, it's not going to have any effect. It is like uh, licking honey from outside. Honey is lying in the bottle and uh, you have heard that honey is very sweet, it is very nourishing, it is very nectarian and then bottle is locked and you are trying to lick it from outside. Are you going to get the taste? No, right? You have to open it. You have to take it in your hand and drink it, then you are going to eat. So process we have to follow. Then only we will experience whatever is written in the scripture, that we will experience only if we follow the process. So if we want to connect to God, we have to uh, on regular basis uh, make uh, His remembrance part of our life and we have to continue to, hear, continue to do that, we have to cultivate this habit of uh, regularly hearing, making our uh, spiritual knowledge strong so that whenever some hurricane comes in our life, huh, everyone's life some difficulties come, misery come. Hmm? You may be billionaire or uh, now there are so many rich people in India and what has happened in three last three days? What has happened? Huh? Anybody had expected such a thing will happen? People are in misery. The most rich people is in most misery, isn't it? Of course, the uh, uh, middle level people or little uh, poor economy background, they are having trouble going to bank and they don't have cash in their hand. But what is happening to those rich people? They are misery, totally miserable. They are in so much anxiety that my money is what I do You know, what do I do with this 1,000 or 500 note? Huh? So, misery can strike at any moment in our life. And if our root is not strong, if we are not connected to uh, spirituality, if we have not developed spiritual knowledge, then it will ruin us. So, if we want to uh, maintain a good life, we want to happy life, then connection is very, very important. And then, we will get very, very wonderful fruits, wonderful uh, flowers, and it should be shared. Just like I said, that uh, example of candle, candle is melting, but along with that, it is illuminating people around. Hmm? So, uh, along with the uh, chanting and hearing, the next thing, how doctor says, don't do, the, don't eat that, don't do that, don't do that. So, like that, Acharyas say, follow four regulative principles. Because if you want to continue to chanting, and if you want to continue to uh, understand the spiritual knowledge, then if we follow these principles, then it is going to help us like anything. Hmm? So what are those four regulative principles? No meat eating, no, no illicit sex, no gambling and no intoxication. And this actually, Acharya says that if we follow these four regulative principles, then it actually brings us to human level. And then, once we are on human level, then we can understand spirituality in better way. So, if you are, uh, you cannot contribute in right way, if you are not cultivated in right way, and you cannot be cultivated in right way, if you are not connected into right way, right? Huh? So, unless the root is not nourished properly, 
we will not be able to give the contribution to the society properly. <coughs> so connect in a right way, cultivate in a right way, contribute in a right way. So this is a message of uh, this talk today that become a healthy tree. Hmm? To summarize, we discuss many things that how trees or dreams are uh, become part of our life and what it reflects what it indicates, it indicates our desires, what environment we put uh, ourselves in according to that we will develop desires and that will show us uh, in dreams and uh, apart from just desires there is also another thing that is higher consciousness that reflects also in our dream and ultimately we have to connect to the roots. So I, a message from today's talk is that let everybody become a healthy tree all of us, let us all develop a very, very healthy root so that we can develop very, very healthy trunk and then we can contribute in many, many wonderful ways to do a lot of good things in society. Hmm? So thank you very much for your patient hearing and uh, I thank all the Chetna committee girls for nicely arranging the, uh, this uh, lecture and thank you for all those, special thank you for all those girls who have helped today in the flower making and garland making because you are going to get immense, immense, immense spiritual benefit by doing this unknowingly. It's not unknown but that is, that has come into your credit now. What devotional service you have uh, done today is, has come into your credit, permanent, it is eternally. So now uh, some girls have uh, practice some dance, they want to perform with some dance which is five minutes and then uh, we will have a kirtan for some time and then we will uh, we'll end this program and today is, uh, uh, Kar this month is Kartik month going on so there is one special thing happens in Kartik that uh, everyone can follow, uh, everyone can offer uh, lamp, ghee lamp to deities, to God hmm? and there are a lot of there is innumerable benefits written in uh, scriptures for one who uh, offers ghee lamb to Lord in Kartik month. Hmm? The benefits are like you, all your sins are washed away, all your past sins are washed away. Then you get credit of doing a hundred Ashwamega Yagya. Then uh, many, many things are there, big list is there. So I request after lecture around 7.30, uh, this ghee lamb offerings will start. So I request everybody to participate in this uh, Damodar Ashtakam along with that our temple devotees will be singing Damodar Ashtakam and uh, all of you personally, otherwise what happens when we come to temple, only Pujari is uh, offering ghee lamp to the deity. We are not able to offer. But this is a Kartik month, is a special month where we all can offer standing out of the altar to God the ghee lamp and get all the benefits. So I request all of you to particip participate in that. Any, any announcements are there? We would like to thank Mataji for her super presentation. Our heartfelt gratitude to Mataji once again and let us thank her all, means thank us all by loudly chanting three times. Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Hari Bol. Thank you so much Mataji. And uh, first of all, I would like to welcome all those girls who have come for Chetna program for the very first time. Please stand.